Yes, good evening. Yeah, the, the drums, <laughs> the guitar riffing off the top, getting us started. Another edition of the LEX 18 High School Sports Zone alongside Josh Berrien. I'm Eli Gain. Another excellent fall night for football and some more lopsided decisions this evening. Ah, and still getting used to the drop in the temperatures, man. <laughs> for the second straight week, our game of the week hasn't really been a game at all. I'll explain in a minute. Scott County and Great Crossing, the Battle of the Birds, the Warhawks had plenty of reasons for revenge. The Cards ended their 2021 season winning by two in the playoffs and most importantly GC Great Crossing has never beaten Scott County since their birth in 2019. First quarter look at the student section getting riled up there. First quarter Andrew Hickey on the quarterback keeper one yard score for the first points of the game seven nothing cards now here's the thing about scott county their wing t offense it fools everybody, everybody. the warhawks the people in the stands and unfortunately us too <laughs> hickey at some point heaves it to ellis hughley for a 50 yard touchdown 21 nothing cards after the two-point conversion you're not fooling me on this last one coach <laughs> mckee hickey the dequeese brown the mvp of the game mosses two defenders scott county continue the, their dominance over great crossing 43 to nothing fit straight victory back in the city Frederick Douglas welcome Grant County the Broncos are number one in the state in scoring offense and defense averaging nearly 52 points per game there's been a running clock in all five of their wins make it six Braves fumble Jamarian Harkless gets it and it's a scoop and score for the newest Auburn Tiger commit 14 nothing Douglas later Cole Carpenter to Cameron Dunn in the flat Spins off a man, jukes another, breaks another tackle, and he is home free. Oh, he had to work for this touchdown. <laughs> Douglas with their second straight shutout of the season, 57 to nothing. All right, awesome, Josh. All right, Dennis Johnson and Woodford County continue to show why they're one of the top teams in the state, defeating their opponents by an average of 32 points per game. Tonight, the Jackets on the road against West Jessamine. No slouch of a team. They can light up the scoreboard, too. But the first play of the game for Woodford, Preston Stacy, maybe the easiest touchdown of his life. 61 <laughs> yards up the middle, no contest, 6 nothing Jackets. Colts answer back. The state's leading rusher, Jacob Jones, showing accuracy with the pass. Dalton Carter, easy, 48-yard touchdown. West Jess on top, 7-6. to six. And then it's Kenyon Maxberry off the right now. He's going to take it into the end zone. Woodford County hangs 77 oh, points on goodness. the Colts tonight, winning this one by 42. And LCA trying to get things back on track. Three straight lopsided losses for the Eagles. A little uncharacteristic for Doug Charles's programs over the years. Hosting Washington County tonight, Cutter Bully is going to keep it himself for the touchdown. Puts LCA up 21 to 14 in the second quarter. But then a scary situation here. Linebacker Will Bivens had to be taken off on a stretcher with a lower leg injury. Charles telling me looks like a broken leg. So obviously pray for a speedy recovery for Will. The game was delayed about 25 minutes, but it's tough, but you got to play on. And what better way to honor your teammate? First play after resumption, B. Evans gets the interception and takes it deep into Commander's territory. Very next play offensively, Evans is going to get the call. He's going to take it in for the score. And LCA is back in the win column with a 56-21 win. All right, now over to Henry Clay, where the Bryan Station defenders are on the two, and they give it to Bayou Bay Bennett for the touchdown. On the ensuing drive, the Blue Devils, Malcolm Paul throws across the field, and it's Cookies picked <laughs> off by JT Haskins Jr. After the pick, Trenton cut right, drops back for the slant, and Damon Green watched a lot of count on count on Sesame Street <laughs> growing up. One tackle, two, three, four, five, six <laughs> Blue Devils miss on getting him down, 53-yard touchdown. Bryan Station rolls 42-7 to seven for the win. Over at Tate's Creek, what a beautiful sunset tonight. Nice. Dunbar with the ball in the second. Threatening, but Tyler Elliott is sacked, or sacks the quarterback and forces the punt for Tate's Creek. Time winding down the half and Tate's Creek punts it away. Jaden Commodore trying to make something out of nothing. You can easily get something good here or something bad. Oh, well, something bad happened. Fumbles it away. Tate's Creek comes up with the ball. Into the second half. Commodores try to pass to the end zone, but no dice. Dunbar goes on to win it 14 to 11. Let's go to Lafayette, where the band got the biggest cheer of this evening. Lafayette. Gave up 42 points in the first quarter alone, so they're down 42-0 in the second. Bryce Chestnut takes it 
down to the 15 yard line. He would then later punch it in for a second touchdown of the night as the Cards win it easily 56 to 7. Madison Central making the trip to Pikeville. The Panthers coming off a 41 point win over LCA last week. Yeah, Indians down 7 nothing here. Brock Eads from the goal line to tie things up at 7. Then it was all Pikeville again. Free play for too many men on the field for Pikeville. Isaac Duty to Wade Hensley for the touchdown. They connected a couple times tonight. Pikeville rolling in this one 50 to 14. Southwestern taking on North Laurel. The Jaguars are looking to get their first score of the game right before the half. And they would after the handoff to Trace John Holmes Evans is going to walk in for untouched for a touchdown. They go into half seven to seven tied. Jaguars looking to score again, fresh out of the half and fumble Colton Golf with the recovery. Warriors ball, Southwestern on the attack. Roger Oliver is going to the air, air one out to Mason Hibbert. The sweet grab to put the Warriors in scoring position. Southwestern wins it 27 to 13. Pulaski County rolling in to South Laurel to take on the Cardinals. They didn't waste any time scoring. Already 7 to nothing when Bryson Duggar nails Ch Chandler Godby with the pass. Chandler stutter steps, gets around the defender, and walks it in for the touchdown. Pulaski on the attack. Duggar scrambles, looking for someone. Finds Godby again, who makes a great catch in the end zone for another score. Later, Duggar drops back and hits Harris Denmeyer for the wide open touchdown. Pulaski wins it 28 to nothing. All right, to so Nicholas County, where the Blue Jackets are going to have the ball here. Alex Cater is going to take the handoff. He's going to take it all the way to the two yard line coming up here. And then Tate Letcher is going to dive in for the Jackets to put him up seven to nothing. But Bishop Bronsert would respond in the second with a goal line punch of their own as Bronsert wins this one, ending in Nicholas County's undefeated season 17 15 in the final. Over in Bourbon County, middle school kids getting a run around at half, and so are the players. Just before that, Knox Central's Steve Parton going to throw a Hail Mary here, launching it. And connects. That's a touchdown. 26 21 at half. Well, then Bourbon answered right away in the second. Marcus Floyd is going to return this to the house. And Knox Central, holy cow, 62 61 the final here. Good matchup at Simon Kenton. Pioneers hosting Corbin tonight. Cade Elam to Xander Curry for the touchdown. Back and forth, the game went all night long. Simon Kenton, full send from Chase Crone to Jackson Galbraith right here. A nail biter tonight as the Red Hounds squeak out a 38 to 35 victory. Montgomery County also making the trip to Northern Kentucky. They faced Lloyd Memorial. It was all Memorial tonight. Isaiah Sebastian out here with the moves like he invented move, taking it to the house. The start of a long night for the tribe. Memorial wins at 39 to 12. All right, let's go up north to Scott. That's where Harrison County was in action this evening, down eight to nothing. The Thoroughbreds trying to show some life. Caden Custard lets it fly. Malachi Feeback hauls it in for the big gain, and then Custard would later punch it in at the goal line. But tonight's final goes to Scott as they win it 54 to 35. And as always, we, we hope, hope your favorite team won. won.